Romania Fedrovic, it's nice to be with you. This is Primetime Russia, where we do our best to keep you up to date with what's happening in the capital. Yes, hello there, I'm Neil Harvey. Coming up for you, we've also got a roundup of the day's news from right across Russia, including the following stories. President Medvedev says corruption is stopping investment in the Russian economy and proposes measures to tackle it. We'll bring you all the details in just a minute. Coming up, we'll tell you what the government has in store for becoming more environmentally friendly. Investigators are working to establish whether Russia's most wanted man was actually killed in a special anti-terror crackdown. And despite Russia saying its interests in the Arctic are purely scientific and resources oriented, a defense ministry source claims the country plans to station troops there. Okay, let's uh, move things on. A military source claims that Russia is planning to station troops in the Arctic. The base will be located in the Kola Peninsula in the north. The move would expand the country's current policy of pursuing only scientific and resources oriented interests in the region. Katerina Nazarova has more. Katerina, can you uh, please tell us the details of this project? Indeed. Well, uh, as Anya, you and Neil just mentioned, Russia is definitely upping the ante in the international scramble for the Arctic shelf. And of course, the billions of dollars worth of resources <laughs> that are said to be trapped. Uh, Russia, of course, saying that it will establish a stronger military presence in the region by the end of 2011. Now, according to Russian military officials, that, of course, had been the original plan that is part of Russia's bigger military strategy that covers the years 2020. 12 to 2017 and we know that a number of troops will be deployed there they of course will be specifically trained in arctic warfare they'll also be equipped with all the necessary equipment to a uh, function uh, to their full capacity in the region we know that they're going to be based on the kola peninsula that's of course the uh, russian north and uh, there is already uh, some military presence there in the region, but Russia is planning to significantly increase the number of military personnel in the region. That, of course, is uh, very much in line with the international scramble for that region. Every single country that now has a claim for the Arctic, that's Russia, the United States, Canada, Norway, and Denmark, all have at some point made moves to increase or even implement military presence in that region, both Russia and the United States, saying that they will build specific designed nuclear icebreakers to be stationed in that region. Uh, Canada also mentioning some potential military presence in the region itself. But so far, Russia is perhaps the first to uh, so actively start planning to increase its military presence in that region, a move that's definitely going to have all the other uh, participants in the Arctic Circle scramble on their toes. Katerina, am I right in thinking this isn't actually the first time that we've heard about you know, possible uh, mounting of military presence in the Arctic? It definitely isn't. In 2008, when the National Security Council specifically talked about uh, expanding Russia's uh, outer territorial borders and increasing a military presence in there, Dmitry Medvedev, the Russian president, specifically uh, addressed the Russian military, uh, reiterating the necessity to firmly establish uh, a Russian border that, of course, Russia claims uh, should be advanced because of the ongoing continental shelf that extends from Russia's now marked territory according to maritime law and of course extends into the Arctic. Now with the resources that many believe are hidden in the Arctic, of course this is something that Russia is definitely very keen to have a stake in and as a claimant with the biggest uh, territorial border now it has staked the highest claim in the specifically designed United Nations Committee that is specifically dealing with these issues. But, of course, this has been going on for a number of years, this plan to increase Russia's military presence in that specific region. It is uh, also said to be included in the ongoing uh, general military development plan for Russia that, of course, uh, sketches out the prospects for Russian military up until the year 2020. So this is definitely no small move for Russia that has been brought up before and definitely will be brought up again. As our correspondent Katerina Azarova, thank you for that. Okay, now we're joined in the studio by Igor Kokolov, a military expert. Thanks uh, for coming in to speak to us. Good to see you. Uh, military presence in the Arctic, 
Is it really needed? I mean, the first thing that springs to my mind is it's all about oil. Perhaps uh, you can correct me. Yes, it's all about oil, of course. You know, the uh, technologies um, have changed over the past few decades and the era of cheap oil um, from uh, the land territories is over. Uh, you know, only a um, quarter of a century ago, these projects were uh, economically ineffective. But now, when oil is uh, reaching all-time high and the deposits of the depo natural deposits of oil are running low, uh, Russia and other countries have to go, to go deep in the sea. Well, and why do they need a military presence? Are they expecting this to turn into a fight? Are they trying to intimidate other people away from, from the oil? You know, military presence is always of great help when you talk about uh, big money. And uh, the money is really great. Uh, some experts estimate um, that uh, maybe every fourth barrel of world oil can be there. So we're talking about oil at this table. Russia, however, is saying that its interests in the Arctic are purely scientific. How are they going to explain the fact that there's such a strong military presence there, then, if it's just scientific? Are they going to help the scientists? Uh, uh, first of all, military infrastructure structure facilitates any kind of efforts, uh, both economic uh, and uh, scientific. So military infrastructure is always of great help because the military can provide all the uh, needed uh, facilities. Of course, Russia is uh, interested, really interested in the uh, in scientific research because this region, due to its uh, harsh uh, climate and uh, extreme um, cold conditions, has um, uh, never been um, have, has never been researched properly, and we actually uh, don't know very much about the region, and we don't know much what we can find there. Military presence there to protect oil interests also can be doing scientific research Absolutely. in the mean in the meantime. Do you think there's any connection though with border issues? Because in the recent uh, Arctic border agreement, Russia kind of conceded ground some, somewhat to Norway. Some uh, areas of the public weren't too impressed with that. Do you think this is also a little bit of a PR exercise to win back public favour? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a PR exercise, you see, because uh, professional diplomats in Russia consider agreement to be in uh, Russia's favour. Uh, Russia has got about two-thirds of uh, the territory. Uh, and uh, compared to, to, to Norway, and those are the richest uh, territories in terms of gas, oil, and other mineral resources. The problem is we still don't know what we have shared because no major scientific research uh, has ever been uh, conducted in the region. Can we expect similar actions from other countries that are competing for this zone? Yeah, you know, quite a lot of countries are interested in this uh, region, um, and actually all the countries that uh, have Arctic borders have already claim certain territories and of course everybody wants to share this um, kind of pie because uh, oil and gas um, will get uh, consumers will get oil and gas there maybe by mid 21st century by the time where cheap oil in um, Saudi Arabia and other Arab states uh, is over uh, so and you know it's a great it's a great step into the future I think and of course I think all the countries that um, have Arctic borders are going to claim those territories or have already claimed them Okay, sounds like it's a long-term race, but Russia has made an early move, yes. pushing its troops into position. Thank it's you so much. It's important to get a pole position in the race, you see. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's a, a marathon race, but yeah, an early uh, good start for Russia. Uh, thanks so much for your analysis of this situation, uh, Igor Kokhlov, military analyst. Thank you.